everyone, I'm back at last. Um, been away again, unfortunately, so sorry for not making videos. So, it is Saturday the 11th, 25 past 11. And about the Brecon Beacons is my good friend Lloyd Tyler, my Hilleberg Tar 4, and he's in his uh, Force 10 Ion 2. So, we came up here last night, there wasn't snow forecast for anywhere in particular. Um, got up here quite late and suddenly a blizzard come out of nowhere. However, I've woken up this morning to a beautiful view. You have to see the mess of the tent. I shall share my view with you. So, here we are. Still quite windy. You gotta say hello, Lloyd. Morning. You have to say louder than that, mate. Morning. <laughs> so, yes, as you can see it's a uh, still very windy, but it's lovely weather. <laughs> Surprisingly warm considering it's been snowing and the weather we had last night. Um, it was blowing unbelievably hard. I know that. This tar is designed to well, one of Hilleberg's strongest tents. Um, one of the well-known reviewer sites on the internet of a shop, an American company. They vote, they said this is the strongest tent they've ever tested. But, but you can see where the spin drift blew in over here as well. That's my Xped 100 Expedition bag. That's a new bag I was trying out. It's an absolute monster. Um, I would open the door, but as you can hear, it's a bit of a pig out there. Um, and yes, yeah, so this is the Hilleberg Tara. Plenty of room. Except on my, uh, oh, my Xbed Sinmat, Sin 12 LXW. And then I used this, which is an Xbed water block. And just because there's a bit of a wind last night, my feet were getting cold, so I then jumped inside my Xped Comfort 600 as well. <laughs> so needed to say I'm lovely and toasty. Um, so update with regards to this site. I have been kept meaning to start posting videos and with one thing or another going on, it's been very difficult for me to post videos, but that's obviously gonna change now. I've uh, I've stopped my, my job I used to do, I can see now on here, because I'm not doing any more, but I was a, arm response officer for doing firearms. Um, it was in SO19 in the Met I was. And then after a decade transferred down to my home county's force. Um, due to what's happened, all the cuts and everything that's going on with the police, I won't go into it too much because this isn't the channel for it, but I just basically didn't agree with the direction things were going in the police. So I took a voluntary, used a voluntary exit scheme and took some money and went. So I'm now going to be starting my own Aerial photography firm, and I've got a DJI Inspire Pro with the, uh, with the 5K video camera on it. And this camera I'm filming with, this Hero 4, is I've almost bought, bought a few other cameras. And we're going to start doing something a bit more professional and get the site looking a bit more, a bit nicer. And not just like it's filmed on my uh, iPhone, which all the previous videos have been done. Like, I didn't even know, by the way. That's, you have to turn an iPhone sideways to get it filmed properly. That's why a lot of the videos got the black margins on the side, so I apologise for that. I don't know if some people can't stand it, but I honestly didn't even realise um, with the iPhone they had to turn it sideways to get rid of those. I'm not particularly tech minded, or I wasn't anyway. I'm starting to pick up on things a bit now. Um, also bought a Mac, a new Mac, the new 5K Mac, 27 inch. Um, so that will be my venture. So I should be posting videos and correctly editing them. Hopefully every week. That's my plan is to do something every week. I've got some new hammocks to do some filming on. I've got um, a war bonnet blackbird. I've also got Amok hammock. I don't know if you've heard of Amok. It's spelled A-M-O-K. 
um, Amok hammock, which is a very interesting hammock. It's worth going to the site and having a look. Um, obviously, this Hilleberg Tara. Um, trying to think what else there's this bits and bobs and I'll be trying to do not my reviews sorry overviews because my opinion doesn't really count at the end of the day what my opinion of stuff is all kit is unique to you or the person choosing to use it what is good for one isn't good for another so I'll be posting overviews as much as I can that's right on mess in here at the moment um what else have I got which I'm going to be doing I'll just be doing kit overviews I've got this map which I bought the other day which um, I need to do an overview of. I was surprised with this mat, actually, what I wore it was. I used it to put it up and just used it for like an hour to rest on at home whilst watching some films with the other half, Amy, the boss. Um, I've got Jetball Minimo, which I'm going to do overviews on. Or oh, actually, I might even do a proper review of that one. But anyway, there we go. So, I hope you're enjoying the weather. Um, I said it was crazy last night, you know, but we had appropriate gear in case some of you are wondering. Uh, um, I'm not an experienced mountaineer or anything like that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not too, I'm not too shabby. You know, I know my bits and bobs, but I know enough that we were safe where we could doing what we did last night. Um, yes, so there we go. I'm waffling, I'm digress. So how are you all? Um, if there's anything in particular that you've seen and you want me to do no review on, feel free to put, put comments in or ask me questions. Um, and yes, I'm, I'm also on Facebook under Dean Coolin. The name of this site that you'll see at the moment is ALC DBC 1402, but I'm going to change that now. I'm going to set up a new site, um, a new account on YouTube with my proper name. So I will then, over a period of time, phase out hosting videos on this channel and this one construction at the moment and I will then begin posting them on the new YouTube channel and over a period of time I'll phase them out totally off this site and will only then post exclusively on the other site of which will be under my name Dean Coolin um, so by the time you watch this video I might have already done it so it's worth maybe going and the search on YouTube for my name Dean Coolin and see what it brings up with and if you like what you see on here or any of these other videos please subscribe you don't have to but it takes a second to click like, hopefully you'll do it. Um, yes, I'm trying to think of other things, but I don't think there's much really other than hello. Thank you for your patience. I am back, I will be making videos. I know I said that in the previous one, but unfortunately, due to ill health, I've had PTSD for a few years. Um, a few incidents happened, and that got quite bad again. Um, and it's surprising how quickly time rolls by one week, merges into the next, and before you know it, couple of months and then a year has just gone by like that so yeah there we go I'll be posting this video as soon as I get home I think it's time I need to pack up now as you see look at this set mess <laughs> that's what you get for coming out late at night setting up with blow the gale it was an absolute bugger to get this tent up and it's an easy tent to set up they just blowing so much um, and I used, instead of using all pegs, I used the Delta pegs on the, on the guy lines. And they're fantastic things. I recommend you have a look at those in little yellow spikes um, called Delta. Delta ground, Delta ground anchor, sorry. Sorry, I'm bringing you closer because of the wind. So Delta ground anchors. Have a look at those. They're good. They're only last time I bought them. They're only a pound something. And God, they're good. I think they're made out of a similar sort of um, polycarbonate or plastic of some sort as the Glock, if I remember rightly, the Glock 17, so it's very durable plastic. Um, but anyway, yes, I'm going to go get packed up. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Head straight over to Dean Coolin, if you can. Have a look if there's any videos there, and click subscribe if you don't mind. Otherwise, if you didn't enjoy it, just say if there's things you wish I hadn't done, let me know. Um, feedback either way is good, so, you know, good or bad feedback is still feedback nonetheless so I can then change things and improve things. Um, I'm a strong believer in constructive criticism. Anyway, right, take care all, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now. Hello!
packed up now, packed tent away, head back and edit this video.